following is my own opinion and not the opinion of any studios I've worked for in the past or will work for in the future. All specific information comes courtesy of publicly accessible articles. Please see the bibliography in the info section of this video. An utterance of the phrase, they're making a Lisa Frank movie, will bring forth a wide variety of reactions. Many will respond with a carefully considered, why? Some will reply with a reasonable, who? And approximately three people on the planet will bleed neon from their eyes in excitement. For the record, I consider myself a member of the last group. Before we get into the truly thrilling possibilities, let's get everyone on the same page here. What is Lisa Frank? Lisa Frank Incorporated is a private for-profit company formed in 1979 under its founder and and CEO, Lisa Frank. The company has been known for its colorful, psychedelic designs featured on a variety of media, such as school supplies and stickers. If you were alive in the late 80s, early 90s, you'll probably recognize some of these images as Lisa Frank was a cultural phenomenon, completely overwhelming the bedrooms and lockers of kids the world over with bright, colorful, and fun imagery that would burn itself into our brains for the rest of our lives. But Lisa Frank herself is a colorful ghost. No, seriously, it's ridiculously hard to find good information on her as a person. Given this lack of public information, I'm not going to presume to dig into her personal life too deeply. Instead, I'll let her represent herself and then provide some additional context from people who have worked for her. I'm Lisa Frank, and for everyone who wants to know if I do exist, I do exist. I'm a real person. I'm crazy. I'm like, <laughs> I'm a lunatic. <laughs> I mean, you, we have to stop me and say, okay, it's enough. Because one illustration gets hundreds of hours in it. It's really, you know, kind of madness. She doesn't give interviews too often, so I totally recommend checking out the full video. Link is in the bibliography in the info section below this video. In the words of one of her former employees, Lisa Frank is a very passionate lady, although a little manic and not always all there. She kind of looks like one of her characters, very over the top and very colorful with big hair and really big eyes. Yet not all who knew her have such glowing words. From the outside, it's colorful. You've got the rainbow, the stars, the hearts on the building, the statue of the panda, but inside it was like an abusive alcoholic home. I don't think they had a lot of business acumen. I don't think they ever did. I think Lisa's parents funded the start of her company. She's an artist, not a business person. From another, I don't know a single person who hasn't heard horror stories about the work environment there. Every person who's ever worked there seems to have a case of PTSD from it. Rainbow Gulag really is an apt description. I don't want this video to turn into a takedown of the Lisa Frank company, but if you're interested in reading more deeply about the reportedly terrible working conditions, Lisa's ex-husband who supposedly ran the company into the ground, and many tales of alleged micromanagement and verbal abuse, I recommend you read Inside the Rainbow Gulag, The Technicolor Rise and Fall of Lisa Frank by Tracy Egan Morrissey. Okay, now that we're all caught up, what is the Lisa Frank movie? In January of 2017, it was announced that development had begun on a live-action animation hybrid film about the world of Lisa Frank. The project was set to be produced by John Shestack, known for his production work on Air Force One, Firewall, and Open Grave, among other things. For her part, it sounded like Lisa was all in. She says, I've always wanted to do a feature film that brings the world of Lisa Frank to life, Frank said. We have so much backstory on our characters, and they've been alive in my imagination since the beginning. John Shestack clearly has the credentials, and I'm very excited about the vision he shared with me. Our fans are gonna love this. And from John, Lisa Frank's world is cheery. It's optimistic, it's hip, but it is without snark. It's just sort of impossible to scowl when you're smiling, and why would you want to? I'm so stoked to be part of this. And that, my friends, is literally all we know. Since January 2017, nothing else has been released about the project. Is it still happening, or has it stalled out completely? It was reported to be a live-action and animation hybrid movie. Why this choice over going Going full animation. Lisa Frank mentioned a large amount of backstory she's been storing up for her characters over the years, but most of her animal designs have very little personality and are super interchangeable. The allure of the brand was based on the in-your-face art style. There are just so many questions I have. I fear, however, that none of these questions may ever be answered. I fear, dear viewer, that the untitled Lisa Frank movie may be in development hell. Now we come back to our earlier explanations. Since their fade-off in popularity in the 2000s, Lisa Frank has had some what of a renaissance. They had a brief tie-in with Urban Outfitters, as well as a continuing presence at Hot Topic, and they've started licensing smaller companies to do their manufacturing for them. But that resurgence seems to have lost a little steam. The whole 90s nostalgia craze is cooling off again. This may be putting a damper on the movie plans. Adding to the pile, merchandise-oriented films have had a rough time at the box office lately. For example, unlike the 
surprise success of the Lego Movie, each subsequent Lego Movie made less money than the one before it. The merchandise as movie trend just isn't reliable. Ugly Dolls and Playmobil absolutely tanked at the box office, but Detective Pikachu did pretty darn well for itself. And in terms of public awareness, I would put Lisa Frank at around the Playmobil level, but even more established brands like Lego have seen diminishing returns, regardless of critical and audience reception. The volatility of this trend probably isn't greasing any wheels for this movie to get made either. Heck, they're still threatening to make a Funko Pop movie for whatever reason. Cherry on top, based on what we've discussed regarding the personality of the artist and the checkered past of the company in question, it may be difficult to get them to compromise when developing the story. Lisa's brand seems deeply personal to her, and she spent decade with characters that the general public really knows nothing about and probably can't even tell apart. Filmmaking is a difficult process, straining the metal of even the most hardened veteran artists throughout the life cycle of most projects. I could certainly see some personality differences and a potential lack of willingness to compromise as yet another possible reason the Lisa Frank movie may never see the light of day. But what if it does? What if we do get a Lisa Frank movie? What in the world would that even look like? Well, here's what wouldn't work. Very little has been released about what the movie may entail, and what has been released is, well, concerning. Sure, live action and animation hybrid films have brought us glorious sequences in Mary Poppins and the jaw-dropping masterwork that is Who Framed Roger Rabbit, but generally, that's not how it goes. When you announce a live action and animation hybrid movie, here's the Vietnam flashback I have. Cats and Dogs, Scooby-Doo, Kangaroo Jack, Garfield the Movie, Scooby-Doo 2, The Monsters Unleashed, Garfield 2, A Tale of Two Kitties, Alvin and the Chipmunks, Scooby-Doo, The Mystery Begins, Alvin and the Chipmunks, The Squeakwolves, Scooby-Doo, Curse of the Lake Monster, Marmaduke, Yogi Bear, Cats and Dogs, The Revenge of Kitty Galore, Hop, The Smurfs, Alvin and the Chipmunks 2, Chipwreck, The Smurfs 2, Alvin and the Chipmunks, The Road Chip, Woody Woodpecker, Peter Rabbit, Show Dogs, and Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, can you not? The art style of Lisa Frank is wild. It's saccharine. It's psychedelic. It is everything the real world isn't. So why would you force the real world into that? Also, the whole kid gets sucked into a magical land trope is so antiquated, you could just skip it and throw up a title card saying, kid gets sucked into a magical land, you know the drill, and then cut to the rest of the movie, and nothing of emotional impact would be lost. And here's what could work. If I'm developing a Lisa Frank movie, I'm developing an animated film, straight up. This will let us get wild and wonderful with the visuals without the limitations of reality intruding. Nothing would be branded as being Lisa Frank TM, but it would all be based off of her designs. The characters, conflict, and world would all have their own rules that don't necessarily relate to our world or the Lisa Frank products in our world at all. If they really wanted to push it, I would allow a concession by giving a character some folders, stickers, and a notebook, but the design on it would be like, I don't know, photographs of a middle-aged balding man in a button-up shirt holding a coffee cup. The other characters make fun of the one with the folders, because in this world, overweight middle-aged men are adorable and cheesy, much like Lisa Frank is adorable and cheesy in ours. But Lisa seems 100% sold on her property not being cynical or edgy, so perhaps the storyline could center around the idea that there's some kind of sickness going around that turns everyone infected, muted, grayer, dull, visually and emotionally. Now, on the surface, the story could be about a collection of cute characters going on an adventure to find the cure, but the underlying message would be about finding ways to combat anxiety and depression without sacrificing your sense of joy and whimsy. Balanced carefully, this idea idea could begrudgingly impress adults with the subtlety of its complex theme, while still being eye-gougingly bright, cheery, and colorful enough to wow the young ones. Anyways, that's just the bare bones of what I would come up with if I were developing the material. I'm sure the geniuses at Hollywood will come up with something much better if this happens. What would you like to see from a Lisa Frank movie? Would you like to see a Lisa Frank movie? Is this thing still in active production, or do you think it's stuck in development hell? Sound off in the comments. This has been Cinema Cemetery, digging six feet deeper into film and culture. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked what you saw, give us a like. If you didn't, don't. <laughs>